step of creating a community voices audio interview, we're going to talk a little bit about how to write your post or to write your reflection about your interview. And it can be really a wonderful thing to not only share the audio, but also share a text reflection. And in some cases, if you're doing this for a class, your teacher may have created or create a rubric that says different things that he or she would like for you to include in your written reflection. One of the things that's great to draw out in your reflection are some of the stories that you found most compelling and most interesting. What were some things that you learned as a result of this interview? And what were some of the standout experiences or highlights of that person's life that they shared that caused you to think more deeply about that era of history or you know, maybe um, think about something that you hadn't, hadn't encountered at all uh, previously? So drawing out some of those highlights is a good higher order thinking process, but it also is a practical thing because when you post this online, Google and Bing and other search indices or, or search engines are going to index this, and so there's a possibility that other people might be able to find your audio interview. Um, and if you'd strictly just posted that audio without any accompanying text, then the search engines aren't going to be able to index it as well. So there's a very practical reason for doing this. Now, in a, some classes that are going to use a blog to do this, you're going to be able to post your audio directly to your website, and you're going to do that on a, on a website like WordPress or a kid blog site that's based on WordPress by clicking the link that above um, your sort of style buttons for bold and, and underline it says upload media and you can upload your media um, there but you're not going to want to do that yet we're going to talk next about how you can compress your audio file because a lot of these audio recorders are going to create large large files and you really don't want to put that large of a file up on your website you're going to fill up your web space so uh, take some time to write your reflection keep in mind all those high points and those key elements that the person may have shared you might even do a little outline because anything that you put with your reflection is going online is going to be indexed and, and searchable if it's on a public site and that can be a really good thing because other people who are interested in that history or interested in that community or the things that that person talked about may be able to find it because of the information you put into your reflection.